Okay. Some of you are happy with a B. That's fine. All right. So what do we mean by B? B minus <coughs> solution C plus. So very bit weak. Analysis of the problem B plus, but the solution was a bit weak in this case. Okay. And notice. Uh, here are my comments here, feedback, and that's my grading here, okay? Let's not look at the people. So, uh, background, scope of services of the company, uh, still background. Uh, out of control problem. Fishbone diagram, which is sort of what they believe is leading to the out of control problem. But there could have been a bit more detail here. So what is what is the focus? So just make it very clear what the diagram is. Um, every time you have a diagram, you should number it, like figure one, fishbone, figure one, um, cause effect diagram, something like that. Solutions. Okay, uh, this is good, okay, but I'm looking, this is uh, again the description of the problem, okay, and the allocation, whether it's uh, um, H, L, D, DH, and DL, and solutions. So this is a nice table that I think all of you could uh, find useful to help to organise. Uh, your thinking in the project. I don't. Tables are a good thing. That's a good thing. You don't have to write all the time. Tables are a good thing. But you may explain a little about each cell in the writing here. Okay? Right? Use the table to help summarize what you're writing. Okay? So when you're planning, when you're planning for your project, your planning might start with. A table like this. Okay, and then you expand your writing to work around that table. You with me? That's that's a good way to plan. Would you like to see another one? Okay, this one. Uh, B plus plus. Detail of the problem, A minus. Okay. Analysis, B plus. Detail of the solution. Detail of the solution, B plus. Okay, let's have a look. Executive summary, uh, company background. So this is an elevator company. Have you all heard of um, Tyson Cup? Yes. The elevator? Yes. And so there's some background, so that's fine, because notice, say, if part of the out-of-control problem is, maybe part of the cause is the intense competition or something like that, then in the company background it's important to mention about the competition. Okay, you see what I mean? Uh, so think about, think of when, whatever you're talking about here, you, you can also put some information in here that helps to see this challenge or control problem in perspective. Let me repeat. What you put in the background here, okay, can help the reader understand part two and three because this is the context of the problem. Okay. So notice this they show the market share of the different companies, whereas the other projects, they didn't show that. Okay? So maybe this problem is related to the competition and things like that. Again, uh, they're talking about two different types of products and their market focus. And I'm looking for the DHL, which I'm not sure is made very clear. They have a root cause here. 
okay, out of product development control. So this is more like a product development process of a company that's a little bit out of control. And suggestions. So this project was maybe a little bit weaker because they really didn't have that clear table and classification on the DHL and going through uh, step by step through the control problems. Did no fail, no project fails. Okay. All right. Any questions on that one? No. Okay. Last one. Last one. Before you all go to sleep, let's have a look. This. Uh, Okay, this one's good. A minus minus. Okay, A minus minus. Okay, this one was um, had the control problem was more of a fraud and uh, compared to the other problems. But here's the table again. So we have. Uh, the fraud, performance evaluation, internal process, and the nature of the problem, HNL, DHL, DH, uh, DH, DHL, and the loss estimated, 2 million cash, 1% total sales. Okay, so there's some estimate to prove uh, how important that control problem is. Okay, so, and then there's analysis of a cause effect diagram, and some further analysis right through to the end. So this, this, this is, yeah, they did a strategy map. They put that in there. A solution. Uh, what else did they do? Um, more details on that. How they would set out the new product position in order to fix the human resources in a more formal way and. Then they had more details in setting out KPI charts. Okay, so this is a very this is page 15 of 20 pages. So they went a little bit too long, but that's not. If you have the energy and time to do that, you can do that. <laughs> um, a decision map to choose the proper method of something. I don't know if I fully understood this part, but. Um, and then there's a um, flowchart of control process, set up another fish code diagram, and page 18, uh, the balance scorecard, a bit of colour in there. Uh, this, uh, so, okay, so this project is something that this project had all of the content, but probably wasn't as focused as it could have been. Okay? You didn't need to put all of what they put in to get a good grade. Just focus, put in the relevant stuff. Okay? Rather than, oh, let's throw in a strategy and let's throw in something else. Okay? If you really believe that's a solution, then you do that. But strategy maps not a solution to you. Every okay, so there, there we have some examples of what major project. Are there any questions? Don't you feel excited? You'll actually once you get started, you'll find it very, very easy. Let me give you the the number one thing that will make it easy. Start with that table. Okay, so the problem. Description or the area of the problem, the group description, DHL, and some estimate of how it costs. Just work with that table and then you expand from that. 